Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, sir. And after we finished dinner, and John had finished uh, eating his salad with his face, um, we, we were dancing at the house. on my uniform, then he steals my girl, then he steals my tank. That's a tank. I said to get that sump. Yeah. Near some uh, amusement park. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know where it is? Yeah, sure. Good end. There was this one sequence in the film uh, where I was in the sidecar of a motorcycle and John was driving. And um, we actually didn't get along very well at the beginning. John was ten had a tendency toward directing me which I didn't particularly love. And uh, uh, after a kind of sort of high school fencing, uh, emotionally we went through, uh, we started getting along and uh, began to work out a routine where it was a, we started working out a kind of a who's on first routine during this chase. Great! We're lost! Where the hell is it? By the ocean. The ocean. That's left. Go straight. Take right. Take right. Take right. I said straight, goddammit! But there's this one thing that John did that I thought was really wonderful and very sensitive. My entire family was at my house, and after we finished dinner and John had finished uh, eating his salad with his face, um, we... <laughs> We were dancing at the house, and my entire family was in awe because John at that time was at the height of his career, and people could hardly believe that he was in, 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 in their cousins and brothers' home. And we were dancing around in this kind of conga line, and one of my family had a camera. And John did this wonderful thing that he, he was aware that these people were very excited to meet him and that it was a very big moment for them. And he kind of found a way to dance with everybody while my cousin was taking pictures so that everyone had a little record of the fact that they had met John.